What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Kings Advisors. A couple of weeks ago, we had the Golden Globes, and we got to see Patrick Adams and Gabriel Mock present an award with some of the other stars of Suits, and that was really kind of fun to watch. Now, just before that, obviously, we had the red carpet, and they were asked during an interview, you know, you know, what do you think about this new suit show that Aaron Korsh is doing? You know, are you hoping to make a reappearance and all this kind of stuff? And, you know, they were very cordial, very polite about all of it. And they were like, you know what? If it ever comes up, we would love to do it. Uh, you can see here in this interview here on People that they talk about how they love that there's been a renewed love for the show. And that was great to work with such a great cast and crew. And that they had a lot of fun. And of course, when they were later asked about their ability to appear on the new show that Aaron Korsh is doing that I talked about a couple of months ago, they were very kind of coy about it. They were like, yeah, you know, it'd be a lot of fun. It would make kind of sense. You've got Mike and Rachel who are up in Seattle. You know, at the end of the show, Harvey and Donna are actually on their way there too. So there's a big opportunity for them to be able to just kind of drive a couple hours south to LA where the new show is supposed to take place. So as I talked about back in October, Deadline reported that Aaron Korsh, who was the series creator for Suits, is actually developing a new drama in this whole like Suits universe. And we've got news about that drama now too. That Suits LA, as we're going to, I guess we're going to call it right now, that the pilot's actually been ordered for NBC. So we can see here that the new iteration will follow Ted Black, a former federal prosecutor from New York who has reinvented himself representing the most powerful clients in LA. So we already have a connection here between the new show and the old show. The main character is going to come from New York. So there's a good chance that he's going to know who Harvey Specter, Mike Ross, who all these characters are. So that in of itself kind of leads to the idea that we may see some of these legacy characters return. So the log line, which is kind of like the synopsis of what the show is going to be about, says... His firm is at a crisis point, and in order to survive, he must embrace a role he held in contempt his entire career. Ted is surrounded by a stellar group of characters who test their loyalties to both Ted and each other. While they can't help but mix their personal and professional lives, all of this is going on while events from years ago slowly unravel that led Ted to leave behind everything and everyone he loved. So New York's coming to L.A. is basically what this is saying. There's going to be issues that Ted thought that he left in New York that are going to follow him to L.A. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ted calls either someone he knows being Harvey or someone that knows Harvey and is like, I need help. And they're like, well, the best closer in the big best city in the world is now living, you know, three, four hours north of you in Seattle. Call him. What's interesting, though, is we see here that it says Ted must embrace a role he held in contempt his entire career. Well, a prosecutor is kind of a take charge kind of guy. What kind of role could a take charge shark not like? And I think it's going to be a role kind of like Harvey. I think he's going to have to become a fixer, which I think would be really interesting. So the rest of the article talks about how the original series ran for nine seasons. Um, I had a really bad spinoff in Pearson. We see here in the last paragraph, Suits creator Aaron Korsh serves as writer and executive producer alongside David Bartis and Dog uh, Lehman for Hypnotic and Gene Klein. Victoria Mahoney is attached to direct. UCP, which produced the original show, is the studio. So something that I want to look at here is if we go to IMDb collaboration, we can see what two titles have in common. So let's type in suits to this one. Let me share my screen here. So we type in suits and then I think it's suits LA right now. Yeah, that's probably it. So let's see what the results come up with. Uh, so Doug Lemon was a producer Aaron Korsh, Doug Bartis, and Gene Klein. So they've they're all Suits alumni. So they've all been involved with Suits now, which is great. It's great to see original members of staff and uh, directors and producers come back to do something like this. So Victoria Mahoney 
is supposed to direct this. She's supposed to direct the pilot. So let's see what she's been involved with. Night Sky, the morning show that she directed an episode of the morning show. That's supposed to be a relatively good show. Uh, you, I've heard a lot of people love you. Uh, Grey's Anatomy. So the the only issue I'm having with this is she's got a lot of experience like credit wise, but they're all one episodes. And I understand that when it comes to TV, you know, one person doesn't normally direct the entire show, but you would think that if the episodes she was directing were good, they would have her back. And it's a little concerning to see, you know, we got a, whatever young the sky is a short, a TV series, a short, a TV movie, uh, two episodes for a TV series, one episode, one episode, one episode, one episode, two episodes, one episode, one episode, one episode, one episode, two episodes, one. Uh, some a United Airlines, that's probably a commercial for United Airlines. Uh, one episode, one episode, one episode. So that's concerning. I'm I'm worried about that. You've got someone who apparently has not been invited back to their TV shows they've helped direct. But the good thing is that that's the only thing I'm concerned about. That's the only if so far about this show. I like the premise that you've got a federal prosecutor from New York who's now in L.A. at a private firm who's having to deal with stuff from his past. My only hope is that this isn't one of those shows where everything starts to happen like after the third episode. So I hope we don't see Ted basically happy go lucky in the first two episodes and then shit starts to happen and he has to start dealing with his past in the third episode because i'm not a big fan when it looks like the drama is because it's the show now i hope that makes sense again everyone thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on twitter at kings advisors underscore